today we're gonna throw a plate. So the first thing you wanna do is wedge up your clay. I have about four and a half pounds of clay. I'm going to put a little bit of moisture on my bath and secure my clay. I'm gonna connect the bottom edge. One thing I'm finding a lot of you are having a hard time with is really making sure your hands stay stable. So just crisscross your thumbs. So I'm gonna put some downward pressure first to really make sure that my clay is connected to my wheel head before I start centering. Since this is going to be a plate, I am gonna bring the clay out quite wide. Best way to make your clay wide, in my opinion, is to use your forearm. So if you have a long rib, you can use one of those. Otherwise, I like to use my forearm to get the clay really connected and wide. Okay, so now I'm going to start to bring the clay down. I like to keep my hand in as much surface area on the clay as possible. And I'm really using my right shoulder to push. Letting the clay come out into my left hand slowly so that I don't throw it all off center. Just gonna grab my sponge. Again, I'm just trying to connect my clay nice and wide. The wider it is, the more eating area of the plate you'll have. There's a lot of different ways of doing plates. Some people bevel at the end to lift the lip on the outside. Some people throw and let the outside lip get heavy and then raise it up. I prefer the second method, but if you like to bevel, that's fine too. So I still haven't even started working on the plate itself. I'm just trying to make the clay wide. So again, I'm just starting in the center. If you are going to produce multiple plates, a nice way for you to um, make them the same size is to find some kind of a tool and you could tape a tool to the edge of your bucket. And if it stayed in that spot, you would just pull out to that point for every single one. And if you weighed your clay and then pulled to that same point, you should make a nice set. You can 
see how I'm just slowly pulling the clay towards this exterior rim, but I'm not really worrying about the outside yet. So now I've got this extra thick stuff here. I'm just gonna let that stay and I'm not concerned about it being a little extra slippy right there. The first thing I'm gonna work on is the very center. So what you don't want is a hump in the center of your plate. In the studio, I have very long ribs that you can use for this, but in my home studio, I do not. I do find that with plates, one of the biggest downfalls is that they crack. So once I flatten out in the middle, I really need to make sure that I compress so we don't end up with a crack in the center. So you don't want any moisture left by the end. And I haven't even checked my thickness yet. Before I go further, I'm going to check. So I'm pretty good. So I'm not going to push any further. I'm just going to try to compress and even it out. So instead of raising your walls up like you would with a cylinder, I'm pulling the rings of clay out. So the center looks a lot better. I'll, I'll still do some compressing in the middle, but right now I've got this big thick area on the outside lip. So now I'm gonna work on raising that up. Since this is a much larger piece, I do like to throw with my large sponge. When I was throwing, I had too much slip gathered on that edge. So now that I removed the slip, I can lift the rim. Adjust my camera angle in just a minute. Let's see if I can. Okay, now maybe you can see.
So I think plates often look like dog bowls, like really shallow dog bowls before you turn them into a plate. So I'm just working on this lip right now. And I don't want to get it too thin and I'll straighten it up before I bend it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I don't have any moisture in the middle. I still have to clean up my outside lip, which is totally fine. So I'm gonna use something that's sharp. I can't actually find my needle tool, so I'm gonna just use this tool here. And I'm gonna trim off this lip before I bend it. I've gone through. Lift it up to remove, and I'm going to just make that bridge. Just so I can compress. And before I bend, I'm actually going to use my beveling tool. And I'm going to keep the point on the inside of the vessel. I'll do it this way, maybe you can see. Again, I'm just trying to clean it up before I bend the lip. Now, if you wanted to do something like a plate bowl, a pole, um, this kind of shape would be great. So you could keep it like this. I am gonna bevel to take away because this is quite vertical here. But before I do that, I'm just gonna open this up slightly. Actually, I'll bevel it away first so you can see it and then I'll bend it open. So I'm just gonna use my wooden stick. And I'm gonna start with my tool pointing straight down. I'm just gonna grab some clay go through to the base and then back out. I'm going to loosen this, but I don't want it to re-stick. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut it and pull it away. Now if you noticed, I slipped a little bit when I was doing that, so there's a little tiny bit of an edge, so I'm going to clean that up and I'll just use my beveling tool to clean that. And I haven't even opened this up yet. soften this lip and then my final step my hands are fairly dry I've cut in on the bottom it looks pretty decent and now I'm going to give it one more compression in the center and bend out the lip I'll bend the lip first and I'm bending out into my hand so I'm trying to stay supported
And there you have a throne plate with a beveled edge.